Came by special request from a lot of emails. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a cool tribal design. I'm gonna do it on her chest just to give you guys some ideas of where you can put them and to get you some extra practice with all those tribals. So thank you for the feedback that I've been getting. I really appreciate it. And please feel free to send me requests at heather at sillyfarm.com. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by doing some of the basics that I taught you in the first tribal video and hopefully you can follow along. If you need a refresher, please feel free to visit the Silly Farm video corner at sillyfarm.com. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a red heart as my centerpiece. So I'm going to start off right in the middle. And I apologize in advance if this is a little bit crooked. It's hard to paint from this angle. So I'm going to start off with a very straight brush Lay my brush down as I curl around. And then I'm going to fill it in. And I'm using this new brush. It's the Majestic number no. 6. I love this brush. It's so nice and smooth and the handle's black so it never looks dirty. Which is really nice. I really like this brush. And brushes are hard because you really, what works for me might not work for you. Uh, so you're going to have to play around with a couple of them until you get it just right. Okay. So I made my heart as my centerpiece. Now I'm going to give it an outline with some white and then we'll start our tribals. And like I said, please forgive me in advance if it's a little bit crooked. We all get the picture, I think. So I'm just going to start up very straight again, lay my brush down as I twirl around, end up on the tip, lay my brush down as I twirl around, and end up on the tip. I'm going to make that side a little thicker as well. And this is that wolf white that I've been talking about. The reason I like it so much is because it goes over other colors. It's actually a really, really good white. So then I'm just going to add a little bit of white to the inside. Now is where the fun begins. We're going to start our tribal design by first outlining this heart. And for the heart outline, you want to get the lines pretty much all the same size, but you want to make sure you have points. So I'm going to start off on the top, outline it, come down, the same thing on the other side. want to make sure I end up on that point. And you can make this heart bigger or smaller. It's really up to you. I'm, I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger so that it's easier to view in the camera. Okay, so now, remember in the last tribal video, I taught you guys about joining the swirls together to create more of a tribal effect. So that's what I'm going to do now. On top of this heart, I'm going to create almost like a double layer heart right on top of it. So I'm going to start off with a swirl on my point lay it down and bring it in and I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Can you turn a little bit towards me? Thank you. I'm going to start on my point, press down and bring it in. Oh, that one's really crooked. <laughs> I'm going to get through the right. Hold on. Okay. We're just going to keep on going and see how it looks at the final part. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is from the middle, I'm going to come out and create my spikes. So I'm going to start on that line, come out, lift up. And then I'm going to repeat that again, right underneath it. Come down and lift up. I'm going to repeat the same pattern on this side. So I'm going to start off straight, follow it out, and lift up. Come down and lift up. So now this is the beginning of my tribal design. I hope you guys are enjoying. So now I'm going to start off from this area. And I'm going to start off and make a swirl up. So I'm going to start off inside of the black heart. I'm going to come out and swirl up. The same thing on this side. You'll want to go back and forth just so that you can continue with the same ideas on both sides and make sure that it's symmetric. So I'm going to start on this side, come down, symmetrical. And I swirled up again. 
and I'm going to connect them with swirls and some spikes. So I'm going to connect it with a swirl, following her collarbone. See as I'm going up. And again, I'm going to repeat that same thing on this side. Swirl. Now I'm going to add some more spikes by just starting inside of this swirl and bringing it out. And the same thing on this side to keep the consistency. So now I have two spikes and two swirls. Now I'm going to start again inside of this heart and the reason that I keep on starting on the lines that I've already drawn is just so that you give yourself almost like enough room to stroke your brush because if you start here and you make this line and you mess up you have no room for error but if you start inside of the black you're actually just going to make that line thicker but not necessarily ruin the design. So now what I'm going to do is start in this line in the line like I was, I'm going to start off, bring it down, up, and swirl. I'm going to repeat this as well. So I brought it down, almost like a V, swirled it, now bring it out, and bring it out again. Okay. To finish off, I'm going to start on this line again and just bring a, 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 a blade down. And then from that blade, I'm going to bring another blade. And I'm going to repeat the same pattern on this side. So I'm going to start from the line, bring it down like a V, swirl, come up on my swirl, blade from the blade. Bring another blade, follow this line down again with another blade and another blade. Now from this design, I'm just going to build up into her area up here, into, along her collarbone just to bring it out a little bit more. And you can even add a few extra lines in here to fill in this gap if you want to those are totally optional steps also adding a little bit of shadowing and contouring inside of there is definitely up to you too now this design should really be fun for you to keep on playing with and adding to so from this point all i'm going to do is just bring it all up into here so what i'm going to do is Add a blade and bring it up into the chest. So I started from the inside right here. Turn your head a little bit that way, thank you. I'm just going to bring it up and connect it up into that area just to elongate the design. Turn to the front. Now to finish it off, I'm going to add just a tad bit more red right in the center to get it wet again to add my glitter right on top. I'm just going to get this design a little bit wet with the paint so that it's able to stick. The glitter will stick right to it. So I'm going to add my red loose glitter just by touching my finger inside of the glitter and just dabbing it right on top of where I want to add it. And I'm just going to use a red glitter right on top of the red to really make it stand out. All right, if you don't like glitter, don't use it. Okay, and this was a tribal design for the neck, for the back, make it smaller, add it to the face. Um, just practicing using our tribal designs and keep on building. Enjoy!